Al-Wasat as an institution has already paid a very heavy price uh, for the work it's done. I received many threats in, uh, during that period. They would call me and threaten, me, uh, threaten my life. They would send me messages. They also parked a car full of informers in front of my office to intimidate me, to, to tell me that they are after me and they were watching me. Our printing press was attacked and damaged in order to silence us. They had clubs, swords, and sharp knives, and our staff had to flee for their lives through a fire exit. Uh, it was a very a horrible situation. The government-controlled Bahrain TV continued its hate campaign against me personally. They filed a case against me and others, claiming that I fabricated the news with the aim of destabilizing the situation in Bahrain, a senior government official telephoned me to say, you are banned from publishing tomorrow. I thought that that was the end of me because the way they came after me was full of hate and full of determination to shut me down. One of the co-founders of the newspaper, Mr. Karim Fakhrawi, disappeared. His body was delivered tortured to death. I feel my obligations is to continue being in Bahrain as long as I can. A real patriot actually questions authority. A real patriot uh, demands accountability. I want to be remembered as a journalist who fought for freedom, who stood with his people, who did not back down during harsh conditions. My country is facing uncertain future. We don't know what's going to happen but my place will be inside Bahrain.